Sure, 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 sure. Uh, how you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Um, how, how was your uh, yeah. the numbness in your fingers? Numbness is not too bad. Okay. Um, Do you feel like that's improved overall? Honestly, I surgery? possibly a little bit, but I'm not mm-hmm. entirely sure because it's the, hard to tell. Yeah. Because the numbness with the right arm yeah. was one of the lesser symptoms. Yeah. The bigger symptom for me with the right arm was always the pain in the pain elbow. elbow. Right. And um, and how's your pain right now? I I still have it, but is that, it a that different made, type of pain? Or it, is... Yeah, it's like more. It's it's numb now, uh-huh, uh-huh. and it's tighter. Right. Um, and I, it doesn't get inflamed as bad as it used to. It's still like a chronic thing, mm-hmm. but uh, but I can brush. Like I can't remember so many times where I haven't been able to mm-hmm. brush my mm-hmm. teeth, mm-hmm. and I did have those cases before. You right. Know, a lot right. Of those right. Before. Right. So. Um, yeah. It probably sounds like to be more muscular here. Yeah, uh, it's a different type of pain because the nerve, the pain that you felt before with the nerve uh-huh. being pinched behind your the, uh-huh. the medial, the condyle here. Yeah. That, that we move that nerve to the front and, and bury it underneath the muscle so they can be protected right there. You know. Okay. So it's, it's, it's called submuscular transposition. Um, and does it hurt at all when I press in here? No. Yeah. No. Good. You can extend it fully. Can you bend it to flex your elbow fully? Good. Now, yeah. Can we I, do that? I have tried. I mean, just recently, mm-hmm. since I've, I mean, I've weightlifting has always been, a, or just working out has mm-hmm. been a way to relieve stress, and I haven't been able to do that for mm-hmm. over a year because right. of this. Country. And so, just recently, I just tried getting back into it, and it, it does mm-hmm. uh, cause pain. Can I your hand here? But I've been, and I, I wouldn't lift it over the. Right. Or I tried just just you know lifting it ninety degrees. Right, right, and, right. Do these feel the same or different? Uh, I think it's the same. Good. Good. Can you open your fingers for me? Don't let me close them. Good. So good, very good strength in the muscles that are supplied by the ulnar nerve right there. Mm-hmm. I think this is all, you know, basically some residual kind of soreness in the, mm-hmm. in the muscles due to the muscular origin and not a nerve thing. Okay. Um, and so, you know, I think that some some therapy may be helpful here to, to yeah. do some strengthening exercises. That's one thing I was hoping to get out of the visit is a mm-hmm. the I, I think that's the best next step for it. Cool. And, um, and, and are you taking any anti-inflammatories for your pain? Or not? I really just stopped doing it because it, it just didn't seem really to. Do yeah. anything for you? Yeah. yeah. Just, just do the therapy for you. Okay. Okay. Um, I and um, okay. And another new thing mm-hmm. is, I mean, this is it's bilateral though. And yeah. I, yeah. I, I did have it before, but it's just I have it uh, more now, and I think it's because just recently I tried getting back to the computer work mm-hmm. a little bit, and a very bad uh, like chronic. Chest pain in both areas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess that's something. Like, does that tell us anything, or is that just kind of go with cubital tunnel syndrome? That, that, I don't think it goes with cubital tunnel uh, syndrome. Mm-hmm. It's really chest pain. Like, 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 um, like it feels like like um, under like, the under like your pecs under the armpit. armpit. Are you, are it feels like it's under the under. Right okay, under. I mean that. Yeah, that's where the the nerves are coming underneath here. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, and through your armpit, that's your, and, and, and so the brachial plexus, you know, a bunch of nerves goes in uh-huh. here, under your collar and uh, under the muscles here, and in your armpit, down like this. But you have this on both sides. So yeah. this could yeah. be, you know... It's, I know it's not surgery-related, no, obviously. No, no, it's not surgery-related. Uh-huh. Uh, but that's something that also can maybe, maybe help with therapy. You do some okay. kind of postural exercises, you know, in case this is something called TOS, thoracic uh-huh. outlet syndrome. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, especially you know, bilaterally, it could be more posturally related, you know, okay. because it's not like you're just going to hunch over on one side, you know? Yeah. So let's, yeah. let's try the therapy for that, too. Okay. Um, and then I saw um, my orthopedic at... Yeah. Uh, Scoey, this was a, a while ago, mm-hmm. um, and um, it was kind of the follow up about the neck, mm-hmm. uh, and also just get some opinions on this. Right. And so I, I did have a slight herniation in, in this, between C four and five before any of the keyboard announcement. Could that have had anything to? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's done. Yeah. Uh, and then, can I just ask your opinion on like, do you know what cervical attraction is? Because you said <laughs> that could be a possible. Th- yeah, I've heard of it. You what, know, well, basically that? they they try to uh-huh. pull up on your head on your uh-huh. head and stretch out the neck, you uh-huh. know, and, and increase the spaces, the neural foramina where the nerve roots. Uh-huh. And, and it may or may not. Okay. I mean, some people it does help. They really believe in it. Other people uh-huh. it doesn't work. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. Do you think that has so the neck is really not, even though it is a, like they're both chronic s- symptoms, but yes. they're not. Product things directly related, or I don't think they're directly related. Okay. No. Okay. Um, cool. Let's see what else. Uh, well, that, uh, 
Is it possible to get a prescription for an occupational therapist Does that yeah. exist? Well, that's what I was going to uh, uh, uh-huh. send you to. Okay. For for both t- uh, uh-huh. shoulders and for your elbow. Okay. Yeah. So the physical therapy includes like some kind of occupational. Oh, well, occupational therapy. Yeah. Oh, well, in my mind, occupational therapists are the best kind of hand upper extremity therapists. Yeah, I believe that. So let's do that. Okay. Yeah. OT. I'll give you to do twice a week for six weeks. Thanks. Uh, oh, and can I get a? I guess to be at the end, can I get copies of like all the? Do you do you have like notes for the? Yeah, do you like my operative report and that? Or, and that's the, yeah, sure, whatever whatever we have, we'll give you. Okay. Um, do I talk to her after something uh, else? Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, is there any medical study that I can be a part of? Like with this, like I'm, I'm just curious how this works because obviously the more, you know, data everybody has, uh, like. Not that I know of right now. Why not? It's. Oh, but there, 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 or there, well, there have been many, yeah. many studies uh-huh. done. Um, yeah. I mean, does it? It would make sense though to. Uh, let's see. Like, wouldn't everybody learn from that better? Like, if, I yeah. mean, if everybody's, um, you know, oh, yeah. surgery reports went to some, like, database that all doctors... Oh, uh, okay. you're, you're, that's, that's the, what's the, that's the, uh, holy grail. Yeah, why? Oh, God. That we can do that, it's just too, it's too hard to uh, it like design and execute a study like that, yeah. Oh, gosh. I mean, it would be, it would be a system, a simple system, I mean, then, I don't know. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I just wanted to, is there any uh, doctor that, that you know of that does that kind of thing, or, I mean, I, I mean, a lot of academic institutions, they do studies like uh-huh. that. But they know. don't make it, ex- but you have to enroll patients, you have to yeah. have a well-designed study, you have to yeah. make sure you have, it, 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 it's a lot of work, it's not just, I know. you're collecting yeah. data, it is actually, it's uh-huh. a lot of work. To make your system, follow up, yeah. you know, when you need you know, baseline scores versus post-op scores and stuff like that. Okay, and I'll search you with, oh, okay, and then with the left, I still have, left's, left's about, well, obviously it's the same, uh, and it is kind of more, like, classic cubital mm-hmm. tunnel, mm-hmm. Uh, in that the numbness is the, is the main in the and pain in uh, in the wrist, right. the main symptoms. But I also have pain. But for the left, the this up here is more is the bigger symptom. Okay. Um, thoughts on like, do you think that is worth trying to treat? Measure nerve right there. Tapping up right there. Okay. If I tap here, do you feel any shocks when I do that? Yeah. You do going into your finger. Actually, no, I didn't feel it. It just, it just, just right there. there. Yeah. Open your fingers for me here. Don't let me close them. Nice and strong. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, seems like classical cubital tunnel symptoms. Uh, you, you do the splinting at nighttime, you know, a nerve test, and, and uh, you know, and if none of that works, then decompress and do the same thing. Possibly, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in the prescription, can we treat both? Like, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to start you with the last. Okay, that's... And oh, oh yes, and can you just show me exactly where the nerve is now? Yeah, I know the nerve is like right in here. Okay, right there. Interesting. Because what's what's interesting is I still have the pain down here. Down there. No, okay, and I hear that from some patients. Yeah. Even though the nerve is no longer there anymore. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but it, it it could be related to the other structures there that are supplied by these other tiny tiny little nerves. Okay. It's still sending kind of huh. pain signals to your brain. You know? hmm. Yeah. So since since. You know, it doesn't. If it's down there, it's probably not the the, the, the uh, ulnar so nerve. Down, I don't think it's down there. So what? What could like? How could we treat that then? Is, is it like? Could is it uh, tennis elbow or golfer's elbow? Does it really hurt in here? Um, it's very. Yeah. Um, like it's here? tender. Yeah, it's more down there. More yeah. down there. Yeah. But that's uh, about that wouldn't be golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. Okay. It's not an epicondylitis. Okay. Um, I mean, it it is. Yeah, it's all. Just, Never figured out what what causes that pain. Okay. Because yeah, with like mousing and that's the, and then another big thing is driving that causes the chest and the and the you know I just mm-hmm. everything. Driving. Yeah. I would definitely see a therapist and right. get some advice from them and uh-huh. do some exercises for the bilateral TO the possible thoracic outlet. Okay, syndrome. so the PT will help. Yes. Uh, what was the TO? What was that? OT. OT. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. TOS. Yeah. Yeah. Thoracic outlets. Do you know. think that's... It could be. Okay, and the PT will yeah, probably the be able will. to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, 
Thank you. Okay. Very much. <laughs> hey, no problem. Very much. Yeah, follow me when you do that prescription. Okay. And, uh, and can I, yeah. Sorry, just one question. Is, yeah. is uh, like, do you think with Celebrex or Vicodin or Celebrex, any, Celebrex. Not Vicodin, uh, but, you know, an anti-inflammatory uh, can be helpful with Celebrex. Uh-huh. I can give you some if you want. Um, yeah. That would help. Sure. I think. I'll give you some. Okay. It's you don't have any self allergies, right? Okay. Uh, no, no. And insurance, like, doesn't cover that Celebrex is there any they cover that for you no is there, is there a um, oh, okay. is there a you know, another mean, version like a uh, generic version right? no okay is there you know, any other way it's either to... well you can do a leave luxury Advil that kind of thing pretty is that pretty yeah. okay yeah. um god you're so you, know, you got so much information I just want to make sure I got it Oh, epidural injections? Would that have any... Uh, I would get worked up for your cervical spine first before you even think about that. Okay. Yeah. I had one um, before the cubital tunnel thing, and it seemed to help me a little bit. Okay, I'm um, the wrong guy, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. Do I... Uh, yeah, phone, phone, phone. Yeah.